What's going on beautiful people? It's Gabrielle and welcome to The Gabe Fix. Today I'm going to be talking about my skincare routine because I get so many requests about my skincare routine and I did a video that's old. I was pregnant when I did that so I figured it was time I come and update you on what I've been using on my skin. I have actually switched up my products so it was fitting for me to come and share with you guys what I'm using now. Just a little background, I have been using the same products on my face for years like since college I've been using the same products on my face and it wasn't until I'd say maybe like three months ago that I wanted to try something different I wanted to kind of try and move towards like natural mm -hmm. face face cleansing methods and I tried the whole like oil cleansing and that was a disaster because my face was breaking out so I was like okay Maybe I should just get better products because the products that I was using have um, solidic acid in it. Is that how you pronounce it? I think it's solidic acid. And I just felt like I didn't need to use that every single day because I don't have acne prone skin. So I, I just really didn't need it. So I was like, okay, what else could I use? I went to the store and was looking at all these products and finally decided on the Simple brand. So what I have been using is the Simple Foaming Cleanser and it's uh, Kind to Skin is their motto. It has one vitamin, three skin loving ingredients and zero artificial perfumes or dyes. So I was really happy about that and then I also use their Protecting light moisturizer and it has um, SPF 15 so it has some sunscreen in it and this is actually the first time I'm using a face moisturizer with sunscreen actually in it so um, that was interesting and this one has two vitamins three skin loving ingredients and of course no artificial perfumes or dyes so um, oh and it's oil free so I have been using these like I said for about three months now and I love them like at first I was kind of skeptical just because you know when you change up your products you don't know how your face is going to react but I didn't have any breakouts I did not have like an adjustment period it was like my face was like oh we like this product just like we like the other products. So I had no issues with it at all. So along with that, I have been using a cleansing brush. And this is the first time that I've actually used a cleansing brush. I picked up the Sonaclear by Michael Todd. And you know what? I'm honestly impressed. I am impressed with this. I've been using it for about two weeks now. And it is like the first antimicrobial face cleansing brush and what that means is it has protection against stain and odor causing bacteria so there are a lot of different facial cleansers out there but none of them are antimicrobial so I was really interested in using this one because of that reason so this is what it looks like the sauna clear it's cute and purple my favorite color and it comes with a face brush and it also comes with a body brush. Now, I have used them both. Um, I've only used the body brush a couple of times, but I've been using this face brush every single day. And when I tell you I could feel a difference, like, I don't know, I, my face felt like it was more clean after using this because, you know, it can clean a lot deeper than just using your hands or a rag or whatnot. So I am a fan of this. It's got like six different speeds and it goes for a minute but in like 20 second intervals. So every 20 seconds it stops so you can move to the next area of your face. And I think that's good because it just kind of makes sure that you get your whole face evenly by, you know, beeping 20 seconds. It's like, okay, move to the next spot. Basically what I do is I wet my face down and I take a little bit of the foaming cleanser. I lather it up on my face. I lather it up really, really good. And then I take the brush. I take the sauna clear and I move it around in circles around my face and I do that I usually do a cycle and a half so I do the one minute cycle and then I may do like one extra 20 minute cycle just to kind of deep clean I'll like rinse my brush off a little bit and keep going just because for one it feels good and <laughs> for two I just want to make sure I get everything gone like get it all gone so after I do that I rinse my face and I apply just a dime size amount of the moisturizer and that's pretty much it like that's my 
skincare regimen. I do this every single day. Now, two to three times a week, I do use the St. Ives apricot scrub. And I don't have that in front of me, but the apricot scrub is my absolute favorite. Like, I have never had an exfoliating soap feel as good as the apricot scrub. I will never ever give that up. I use it two to three times a week and it's their highest level. Like they have different levels of exfoliators and it's the highest one. So if you have sensitive skin, you might not want to start off with the apricot scrub. You might want to use one of their like lower intensity ones, but I, yeah. I'm a fan. So that's it guys. Those are all of the products that I have been using. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you know what to do. Leave them down below. I hope that this was helpful for you guys. And um, yeah, I'm interested to know what you use on your skin. So let me know down below what type of products do you use for your face. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.